Hi, today we'll be making a spiced rub pork tenderloin with an acorn squash and bacon hash. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of pork tenderloin and we're going to rub it down with our spice mixture. It's got a little ginger, allspice, garlic, chili powder in it. It also has a little salt in there so we don't have to season it up. Just going to get that all rubbed down nice, get a nice even coat all over it. And from there we're going to take our preheated pan, add a little oil, and we're going to get our pork searing. We're going to get a nice sear on that and then pop it in the oven for a little bit. Okay, now we're going to start on our hash. We have another pan hot. We're going to add a little bit of oil into it. And then we're going to uh, start by adding our golden acorn squash that I've diced up already. And then we're going to let this cook till the ha uh, squash is soft before we start adding anything else. It will take a few minutes. You just kind of want to put it on like medium low heat. Um, our pork has been seared on all the, uh, sides. We're just going to pop it into an oven for now. Uh, 350 degrees is fine. And you're just going to let that cook till you get about a nice medium temperature on it. Okay, now that our squash is softened up and we've got some nice color on it, we're going to add a little seasoning, some salt, a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. And then we're going to add, I've diced bacon and rendered it off already. So we're going to add some of that to it. Just so it doesn't get so fatty. That's why we pre-render it. We can strain off some of the fat. We're going to toss that in. And we're going to add a little bit of our rosemary and thyme and some shallots to that. I like to use shallots because they're sweeter than a normal onion. And they have uh, less of a burn, a little bit more of a mild onion taste. So we're going to let that all sweat out for a second. We're going to check our pork real quick. And if that's done, we're going to have it rest until we're done. Looking nice. We're going to pull the pork. And we're just going to set that out right here for now. Just to let all the juices seep back into it. Okay, for our hash now, we're going to add a little sherry vinegar. Deglaze the pan. It's going to add a nice... Uh, sweet tartness. Sherry vinegar isn't as strong as like a white vinegar or an apple cider. And then from there we're going to add a little bit of honey. And this is just going to make a nice glaze over top of our hash. Bring it together. Round off that vinegar. You're just going to let that cook down for a second and all come together. And then that will be the hash. Okay, now that our hash and our pork is done, we're going to take our hash and we're just going to plate it up. From there, we're going to take our pork and we're just going to give it a nice slice on a biased in half. We get that nice little bit of pink in there. Make sure our pork's still nice and juicy. Got that nice rub. We're going to place it right on top of our hash. You can slice the pork out more if you'd like or you can uh, leave it whole, however you'd like to serve it. This hash could also be used with chicken or beef. It's very versatile. Enjoy.